from the Atlas Trap Company in Benton, Kansas, USA. Today we are going to go through the setup and operation of the Atlas Trap AT50. Whether you are considering purchasing the AT50 or already have, we want to thank you and say we look forward to working with you. You've just received your AT50 and this is the box in which it would have arrived. We are going to remove all the components and show you how to set it up. Underneath you will find the release trigger to fire the trap, a package of parts which we will go over in detail, and on the top you will find the rod that holds the clay tarp. We've got our AT50 unboxed and now we're going to take the first steps towards getting it set up. We've got everything from the box laid out here, including a couple of extra tools that I'm going to be needing. One, a set of clippers and a half inch wrench. <clears throat> First we will remove the rods. These actually hold the clay targets. Held on here with a couple of zip ties. Go ahead and free all those up. We've got our manual and our parts package. This includes the main spring that Cox that fires the trap, the spring adjustment wheel to increase or decrease the tension on that spring, the top ring that holds the rods together, that holds the clays, and the hardware used to hold that ring on to the top, and also a spring bushing which we'll show you where this goes here in a moment. We send two, one is just a backup. The next step in the setup of the AT50 is installing the main spring that cocks and fires the trap. This is a couple of steps in this process. First, we need to remove the rubber band that came when we shipped the machine. And if you tilt the machine forward and follow this rubber band all the way down, this is where the spring actually connects. So it serves as a guide to let you know where to connect your spring. up the power clips to the battery. So now we've done all, undone all the packaging and we are ready to install the spring. When we ship the machine, we close up the throwing arm to the inside of the trap. And if you notice, if you tried to move it, you can't move it. Uh, the reason being we ship it to keep it protected. So you're going to have to energize the trap to free your throwing arm up and here is the way to do that. First, make sure that the switch on the back of the trap is still in the down position just as we ship the machine. You'll need to have your battery available which is the Deep Cycle Marine battery. You can see the specs in the manual but it is recommended you have a battery with at least 600 cold cranking amps or a size Group 27 Deep Cycle Marine RV battery. So we'll go ahead and hook the trap up to it. All we're going to do is nudge the firing button a couple of times, making sure your hand and arm is out of the way of the machine. We're going to do this until we get the throwing arm straight ahead. We'll unhook the battery and we can go back to continuing to install our spring. At this point you might want to move the machine to where you can lean it over. You just want to be very careful with that throwing arm. You don't want it to get bent. You don't want to have it leaning on anything. Again, make sure the battery is 
disconnected from the trap, now we can install the spring. You'll see that the spring has both a hook on one end and threaded rod on the other. The hook is what goes on the inside of the trap, hooks to the piece that the rubber band was connected to. You can hook it in from the right side or the left side, it doesn't matter. Hook that, run the threads out the back of the trap, and install one of the two spring bushings that we sent with the flange at the back. You just do that and it plugs in right there. Then you take the hand wheel that we shipped in the package and thread it on to the spring's rod here. And go ahead and thread that on until it's tight. You can essentially pull all this rod out the back of the trap. Now that you've got your spring installed, we are going to install the rods that hold the clay targets. These rods simply thread onto the top of the trap, but two of them are coated with a vinyl tubing that must be positioned in the proper location for the proper feeding of the clay target. As you can see, they look a little bit different. These two have the vinyl tubing, these two do not. The two with the vinyl tubing, they will go to the front two posts on the trap. It's also noted here on the back and in the manual as well. But it's very important for the feeding to make sure these are positioned to the front. They simply thread on. At this point, you are so close to shooting almost ready to go. Just thread them on until they bottom out. Just snug tight with your hands. You don't have to use a tool or anything. you've got the top ring that holds these rods in place and four allen head bolts that secure it. Recommend just getting them started by hand and then we send a tool that allows you to tighten them up. It's important when installing this ring that the opening of the ring faces to the back of the trap. The opening faces back towards you. That way you can safely load the clays from the back of the trap. So once we've got those hand tightened, we can take the tool that we sent and just again snug, snug tighten them. You don't need to over tighten them. have the AT50 all together and we'd like to point out just a couple of quick features of the trap. First we brought this half inch wrench out so that when you are ready to make a vertical adjustment to the machine you can do so. There are two bolts on either side of the cradle. All you have to do is break these bolt heads loose on each side of the trap and then lean the trap to the desired angle and then lock them both down. There are nut plates on the inside so you don't have to get a wrench on the inside just break those bolt heads loose, lean the trap to the angle you'd like and then tighten them back down. So you can have this adjusted in about 30 seconds. On the back of the trap here this is your control panel. Of course we've talked about the spring and this is how you increase the speed and distance. For more speed and distance, we turn this to the right, 
for less speed and distance, turn it to the left. This is where you plug in your release cord that came with the trap. Simply plugs in like so. Here is a circuit breaker to protect the trap from a sudden drop in voltage. Here is a built-in firing button. And here is your operate switch. This is not a kill switch. This simply cocks and decocks the trap, and we will demonstrate this process in just one moment. Now that we've gone over a couple of the basic features of the trap, we are just about ready to shoot. But before doing so, the machine has to be mounted to a solid platform. We make several products that serve this purpose, but you could also mount it to something as simple as a small pallet. For our demonstration purposes, we're going to mount it to one of our two-wheel carts. We're going to mount it to our commercial two-wheel cart, which is the larger of the two we offer. When you received your trap, we've already timed it, tuned it, and thrown clays with it. You might even notice some clay dust in the box. It's not because it's a used trap, it's because we've carefully tested it to make sure it's ready to go when you receive it. We've mounted this trap to our commercial two-wheel cart. It's got the 16-inch rugged run-flat tires, battery tray, built-in handle to either move it by hand or to hitch it to an ATV or a golf cart. Now we're ready to go. So we come out, we've got our release cord hooked into the back of our trap. Bring up our battery. Now we're ready to load clay targets. is loaded now we're going to launch a few targets to show how to cock and decock the unit you will notice that the throwing arm is out straight ahead just how we left it during the setup procedure this is the last time you're gonna see this arm straight ahead unless you ever take out your spring for storage all right we are loaded we have our release cord hooked up we're safely behind the trap now we can hook up our battery black to the negative, red to the positive. And now to cock the unit, all we have to do is move our operating switch to the up position. As you can see, the first target loaded and the arm cocked. The trap is now hot and ready to fire. We can use the built-in firing button on the trap or the button on the end of our release trigger. So we'll step back here and fire off a couple of targets. one drops and the arm cocks. It will do this until you decock the machine. To do that, you move the operating switch to the down position and fire a clay that is loaded and the trap when the trap is cocked. You'll notice now that the arm is off to the three-quarter or semi-decocked position. It doesn't go straight out to the front like during setup. It's always going to go here when it decocks. So we'll re-demonstrate this cock it by putting the switch up, fire a clay, recocks. Put the switch down, fire it, semi-decocked or three-quarter position. This is how you want to leave the machine when you're not using it or when you shut down for the day. And also not only this, but you need to disconnect the trap from the battery, making sure you take off both terminals. Not just one, but both. Keep it away from the battery so there's no way that it could actually make connection. Now that you know how to operate the AT50, we're going to leave you with a couple final notes. The unit has a five-year warranty with lifetime coverage for the clutch and electronic components, the most comprehensive in the industry. It's made of stainless steel and aluminum and essentially requires no maintenance. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call us. We're always here to help. We build this in the United States proudly and look forward to the future of working with you. This unit cycles so quickly, 0.6 seconds, We've helped set Guinness World Records with this machine, and I want to show you just real quick as a final note what it can do. Hook it back up to power. And off we go. All right. Tired of wasting.
interesting clay, so I think I'm going to shoot a few of these. Thank you for choosing Atlas Track. <laughs> some shooting so here we go don't forget your eyewear these are pilas the absolute best in the industry you can pick them up on our website as well let's go oh.